Order 64 to raise the quorum for the transaction of business this morning. Mr. Speaker, they bring business to this house and they can't consistently, consistently lying on our numbers to have business of government executed. For me, it demonstrates lack of seriousness and I don't think that we need to be giving them this opportunity. Mr. Speaker, last week and last two weeks, I raised this issue. They are in our constituencies campaigning, yet they expect us to execute their business for them. It is completely unacceptable. We could have also done that. We could have left this house, left our legislative responsibility, what we were voted by our constituents and the people of this country to do, we could have done that. But we have decided to act responsibly for the good of this country, for our electoral people who we are representing, for Mother Ghana. So I really don't think that it is appropriate that they rely on our numbers to execute businesses they bring to this house. If after raising the issue of quorum, you proceed to talk about them relying on your numbers, if the numbers were here, you will not be raising an issue of quorum. So, yes, let's address the issue of quorum. You have already given directives that we proceed to take public business. Yes, let so me address the issue he has raised. Let me address the issue he has raised. Please. Um, what, Clark, what, what is the number we have? I will invoke 64.3, and 3 is talking about the numbers, and so as of now we have 48, and so the issue raised is legitimate, but I rely on 64.4, which says the person presiding shall A, direct the clerks at the table to cause the bell to be rung, B, continue the business of the house for a period of 10 minutes and E, direct the clerks at the table to conduct a head count of members present, and D, if there is still no quorum, suspend the sitting of the House for a period of not more than one hour. And then we we'll go to five, if on resumption of the sitting there is still no quorum upon the conduct of a head count, the House shall stand adjourned till the next sitting day with a question being put. So I invoke City four, four. So we have not flouted that. And Speaker, I think my colleagues should uh, check the orders properly. The orders have not been flouted, and the speak uh, the minister should be allowed to do the lay. If there are, if there are, sit down. If there are issues that to be dealt with, when it gets to the committee and the committee, it could be dealt at the committee level or when the report comes to the plenary. We can deal with that. But I've been issue, you cannot stop the minister from laying it. The practice in this house has always been that leaders are guided by the advice of the chairman and the ranking of these committees. Just receive the call from the ranking. And I'm communicating, please, 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 I'm communicating that. You can flout it, but let's see how we go forward. You can decide that you do your business. You don't even have a number. We've called for a district. Madam Speaker, it's 10 minutes. I, I think that we are going to support our political. You don't want to cooperate with us. Let's go ahead. Madam Speaker, I think that if he's not going to cooperate, if he's not going to let us respect this house time tested practice where leaders are guided by the advice of their rankings and chairman, I believe that we must go by the book. We don't have the quorum to do any business going forward. It's 10 minutes since you call for that. Please. Speaker, I think this matter cannot be belabored. I had told you, you don't need to get angry. We have not flouted any of the provisions of the standing order. As we are, we are at, your, at your discretion. But the minister should be at least allowed to lay the paper. And then, Speaker, out of your wisdom, you can do the appropriate referral. Then we can take it from there. 
So you raise the quorum just to, have, to stop us from laying the paper. This is most unfair. But look at these two papers, the lithium and the bauxite agreements, never appeared before the business committee of which I'm a member. Last week, on two or three occasions, they were appearing on other paper addendum. And we raised questions that these are matters that if parliament is about to go and embark upon, parliament must carry the entire country along. If you come with other people at them to and lay these papers, the moment you lay it, a committee can use two days to go and sit and bring their report. And within one week, Mr. Speaker, if care is not taken, that agreement will be endorsed. Then Ghanaians will be up in arms against parliament. Mr. Speaker, we are saying that it will not be nice for the lithium and the bauxite agreements, the speaker, to come through parliament with lightning speed. We must allow the city, civil society organizations in the extractive industry to bring their bar in. We must allow the academia to bring their bar in. We must allow all the stakeholders in Southern and Central region to bring their bar in. But the speaker, we have only two weeks or three weeks to go on recess. Then you lay this paper today. Mr. Speaker, have you forgotten the Ajapa deal? The Ajapa deal came on the last end of a meeting like this. It has become necessary that we reprogram the questions. So we are not taking the questions. That is why we say that we are masters of our own rules. These agreements were brought last week. We attempted laying it last week. There were views to the contrary that we should engage. Then I said, look, as, as far as the standing orders are concerned, we are within the provision of the standing orders. Nobody has, uh, has, has, has gone wrong. And hence, we got, if it is about the business committee, it is neither here nor there. It is neither here nor there. Has the clerk received sufficient copies? Has the table office complied with the provisions of the standing orders? Yes, indeed they have. They've re right. received sufficient copy. That is why they went ahead to advertise the two agreements on the other paper. So you come you on, on the front of standing orders. Let's, let's go through the process. So you have raised quorum. Let's go through the process. Laying the paper is now being challenged. We cannot ignore that. But it's a precedent you'll be setting. If you want to go by that president, I'll proceed to do so. If you don't want, please, let the paper be laid. Copies will be given to members. The committee will be given the opportunity to deliberate over the business. And then whatever concerns you have as you are raising can be discussed at the committee meeting captured in the report and presented to the House. What I can say is that we will have to take, according to the rules stated in Order 64, one hour, they say not more than one hour suspension of sitting. And then when we return, we'll look at the numbers and advise ourselves. Sitting is accordingly suspended. Head count 24. The House stands adjourned. Thank you.